all good. I Happy? need a drink. <laughs> yeah. Wait, got it. I am. Do you know what? I just I knew I knew it. I had this feeling all day and. Everyone else in there is like big. They've got massive followings, and I, I know I've just I've been on one TV show. Do you know what I mean? Like it's, I, this winning coming on here was winning for me. Like on it, I can't believe I actually made it on here. When I found out I got it, I thought it was a joke. Like <laughs> I, I was like, what? Like, are you um, joking? Yeah, I've got to say though, you had a fantastic reception coming. I out know. Of I can't believe it. And you, you really know that's did. why I wanted to come here because I come in with booze and I come out with cheers and it's. Everyone is so nice. Thank you. So, lots of cheers out there. Yeah. Why do you think the public didn't pick up the phone for you tonight to keep you um, Do you know what? Everyone in there has a massive, massive audience, like, yeah. um, following. And I don't. I've been on one TV show and, you know, I, I just knew I wouldn't have a lot of people picking up for me. But thank you for the people that did vote. Like, honestly, it means a lot. Like, um, let's talk about nominations. So, anyone yeah. that received a nomination this week was up. That's why you were and yeah. you sat here now uh, yeah because Thanks, of john yeah um, and because of the row that you yeah. had did you uh, show all that oh we, we shot <laughs> it, it was the main point of that night's highlight show but let's show you it oh no <laughs> i'm sick of that shit. he is a lying little a liar this Megan, sit Let's down. Let me in there. Megan, sit down. No, you let everyone else demand everyone apart from me. So fucking laugh in your face. So let me out. Let me out. Let me out. <laughs> um. So. Um. You look. I know you're slightly giggling, but you do look. Um. <laughs> I don't know if ashamed is the right word, but you do look quite surprised. Do you know at what? Watching yourself. I know that I do flip off, but I feel like I flip for the right reasons. And the reason why I went so mad that night is because no one would let me talk. Like, and just when I have a feeling, I just want to talk. No one would let me talk. Everyone was butting in, and I was just like, let me talk. So it, I got to that level in about yeah. two seconds, which I shouldn't have hit the camera. I'm really sorry. <laughs> yeah, you did hit the camera. I'm and, really and sorry. And you did make a comment that could have been taken uh, yeah. the wrong yeah. way to some people. Yeah, uh, no, but I would never. We did apologise. Oh my god, but I, would ne I didn't even realise. I would, would never. Well, you say. were in such a rage. Yeah. And and I think had you have come out nearer, um, had you been up nearer that time, yeah. you might have come out for that reason and came out to yeah. a very different reaction. Yeah. But I think since then, we've kind of seen quite a different side of you. Yeah. And you've settled down quite a bit. We've seen that you can still <laughs> flip out from time to time, but you do seem to have settled in and been having fun. Mm. Um, but as far as you and John go, how are things between you now? Like, me and John have a sing-song, we cook in the kitchen, like, it's all right, but um, obviously I don't agree with the way he was at the beginning, and he's, he's warming now, he's opening up, mm. but I, maybe it's just the way he is. That's why I've just accepted it, and I've, been, and I've been his friend in there now, but obviously I felt like he did try to stir a lot of in there. Sorry, I'm not like, swear. A lot we've of We've been watching you swear for two weeks. Sorry. And you've said <laughs> much worse than that. So we can let <laughs> go, just as well. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I think when it happened, yeah. the whole explosion and the row, yeah. the, the, the thing that you were trying to get out about him, yeah. people did seem to go, I get it, I yeah. see what you mean. And I think lots of people on the outside went, she's, she's kind of right, but yeah. I think it was just the delivery of how it came out yeah. made you look slightly crazy. <laughs> That's my problem. Like, I don't really think before I speak, and maybe the vodka didn't help. Um, I had a bit of wine and Prosecco as well, so it probably didn't help that I was completely near, near enough paralytic, you know what I mean? So I was screaming and... Yeah. But I can't help it, that's how I felt inside, mm. and it just all come out when I was drunk. Um, we've also seen uh, John and Gemma clash as well. Yes. Um, what's it been like to live amongst that? Um, the John and Gemma thing, not that bad to live like with it, it's fine. Well, not with me. I mean, I just stay out of that. But obviously, I really like Gemma. I don't know what you've been seeing on the outside, but I get on with Gemma. Um, I mean, she's an Essex girl. Do you know what I mean? I'm an Essex girl. But there's a, maybe there's a lot more that you're not seeing on the outside world that does go on in there. And I know they've got to make a show and cut it into one. So, but then maybe we're also seeing things that you don't see because you're not in the same room maybe. as her. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, maybe. I mean, I don't. I don't know. Like, 
Um, okay, one person that you did get on really well yeah. with is Scotty T. Yeah. <laughs> Let's show you you and him. Oh, God, okay, this is going to be embarrassing. He fancies you. I can see it, I can feel it. She's a very pleasant girl. Megan, keep flashing that bum. He's ticking all the boxes at the moment. <laughs> They're a perfect couple, we're so good together. I find each other attractive. I can't not find it attractive, man. Girl, he went you so bad, I can smell it. He's just got this charm. So what are you now, completely single or what? All he does is a little smirk at me. I can't help it but smile. Who would you miss the most if they left the house? I hope it's me. I do like him. And just to see what happens. So, you were friends before you went into the house. Yeah. Um, you seem to be slightly more than friends <laughs> inside the house. Um, what is going to happen when he comes out of the house? Well, for a start, I hope he wins because he deserves it and he's an amazing boy. Um, but um, I don't know. Like, we're just going to have fun. Like, we're both single, you know. And when we come out, we have said we're going to go for dinner and we're just going to, you know, see how it goes. So you would like something to progress? Yeah, I don't know. I don't like to say things because I don't, you know. I do, it's obvious I really do like him. But yeah. I think we're going to go, we're going to party. We've got summer coming up. We're going to have a good summer. I think you never know. I think you played it the right way. Yeah. You kind of went in there, you kept it cool. Yeah. Because obviously liked each other. Mm. Um, and there was no pickles, really. No. Unlike that with Stephanie and Jeremy. Or, or Steremy, as I almost just called her. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. What is your take on it all? We saw you mention, like, a, a, you know, a few little things. Right. Um, but, but what do you think about how they've been acting? Right, at the beginning, I thought that, it, you know, it was fine, it's just all innocent. I mean, Steph's a very touchy-feely girl anyway. She's like it with me, she always tickles my hands, and, you know, she's just like that. It's different with your girlfriend, so. Yeah, OK, it's different. Obviously, Steph does have a boyfriend, and I know that she loves him, um, but I, I don't agree um, with that I've been there for her, not let anyone slag her off. I've always stood up for her, but when I tell her, don't do that, it's too much of Jeremy, you're cuddling, it's too much, too much, she doesn't listen. The next day, she goes back to him and she drops me out. Mm. So that's why I step back and let them get on with it. I don't know. I don't know. It's just a little bit too much, I suppose. Yeah. Well, like you said, take a step back. Take a step but back. But they didn't. No. Um, listen, we're at time. That's okay. We haven't even scratched the surface. Oh, but you thank will be you. chatting to Ryland Moore on Bet on the Side okay. afterwards. So Wicked. Lo lots thank more you so much. Here are your best bits. I'll get to watch this. It's Megan McKenna. Hello, lovely to meet you, Megan. Megan, she is the hot candy of the house. You look alright. Thanks. Megan, you have got a banging ass, man. Thanks, babe. Fun, isn't she? She's lovely. I feel like I'm gonna get <laughs> Megan, keep flashing up bum. Girl, he wants you so bad, I can smell it. Are you Am I always hungry? She's given me so many laughs with the little straps. <laughs> I'm really worried about her. I need to eat food. I'm starving. Everyone snores. I can't sleep. I just want two minutes on my own without people irritating me. Tell her. Tell her. Tell her to clean her up. So I'm the one telling the truth in here, and I stood there. No, I stood there. Megan, sit down. No, you let everyone. Laugh in your face. Megan McKenna always has a face like a smacked ass. She should smile more. Now smile, Meg. <laughs> I think a lot of people get the wrong impression of her, to be honest. You're not seeing anybody? Well, no. You're a little <laughs> you are. Absolutely love her to bits. She just is my sister for life. <laughs> She's grounded. She's a nice kid and she don't even realise how pretty she is or how funny she is. I'm such a <laughs> My time in the Big Brother house has been on another level and I just want to say thank you, Big Brother, you salt. <laughs> the three. Thank you, friends. Thank you so much. No worries. Stop <laughs>